Hi there, just want to do a quick update video on Linux on the Lenovo Legion Go. So one of the first things to go over would be um, there's a new PS5 controller emulator. So there's this new one called Handheld Daemon. And previously, what I've gone over in previous videos is this different controller emulator, which is Rogue Enemy. Um, this newer one, Handheld Daemon, has some newer features. It's more feature complete. For example, the rumble works when both attached and detached, whereas previously the rumble in Rogue only worked sometimes. So the rumble is fixed. Um, another thing that it lets you do, which is really neat, is that it lets you control the, the LED lights via Steam input. So if I go into Steam and go to the controller and go to Calibrate Advanced Settings, you go to LED Settings, you can now actually change the LED in Steam. Um, so I can turn it off, turn it on, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, which is pretty cool. You know, change the color. What makes this really, really uh, neat is that there's some games that actually, when they detect a PS5 controller, they actually change the LED colors in game. Um, so basically, if you set this up, you could have games uh, that change the LED light. I still personally prefer using um, the Decky plugin because of the Decky plugin. Um, there's more options for control. Like for example, um, you could actually change the, it to like a pattern. Like you have it like pulsing, or you'd have it, um, you know, have this like rainbowy pattern that turns into a rainbow around the ring. But um, if you don't care for the, having that extra control and you just want games to control the LEDs, you could enable this, um, which is pretty cool. And for, but if you also want to turn off the LEDs, um, this also has a config file you can actually edit. So you can edit this config file for to, for to let you do stuff. So if you go to home slash deck slash dot config slash hhg slash plugins, there's going to be this config file, this YAML file. Here, if you just open, open this, and let's just zoom in so you can see it, you can see um, you could change a lot of settings here. Like for example, LED support, I changed it to um, false. I need a reboot for it to kick in. But basically, uh, I don't want the controller. I don't want Steam input to control the LEDs because I like using the plugin more. But you could you could turn this on to true if you prefer having Steam control the LEDs. Uh, what else is there here? There's a bunch of stuff. Like for example, the home is currently mapped map to start, and then quick access menu, the right menu is is mapped to this button, and these aren't these two are now the start select buttons. Um, and but for to get that functionality, you need to turn swap legion to true. Um, there's a lot of neat stuff, but basically this config file is pretty nice to have. Um, but yeah, anyways, I would recommend you check this out. If you want to try testing uh, HHD and uninstall Rogue, I pushed up some instructions for to do it. It's pretty straightforward. So another neat feature that's now in the Legion Go, this is still experimental. Um, you need to manually enable it. But if you go into simple TDP, um, it now supports uh, LEDs. Uh, there's a custom option that you could, you'll have to manually enable, but it lets the TDP plugin actually use the uh, Lenovo uh, Legion Go's um, TDP profiles, right? So if I change, I change it to red manually, right? So if you press Legion L plus Y, it lets you manually change that LED, which is um, provided by Lenovo. That's a Lenovo feature. But now if we pin the plugin, if we change the TDP, change the purple. And this, the purple LED is the custom mode, but unlike the custom mode on the Windows side, on the Linux side, it's actually been reverse, reverse engineered and it's actually working exactly as it should. Um, so it's actually been fixed if you use this custom, um, custom TDP method. But like I said, you need to manually enable it. For so far to do that, you go into the desktop and then here, go into the files. And from here you want to go into slash home slash deck slash homebrew settings simple decky tdp and here there's going to be a settings json file and if you open it you're going to need to add in this one extra line at the very top and at the very top you're going to have to enable this enable legion go custom tdp true make sure you have the comma at the end um, you need to make sure it's written exactly like this but if you add this in and then restart your device when you change TDP in the plugin, um, it will actually start properly using the custom mode on the Legion Go. And this actually is um, pretty useful because when you set the custom mode, 
it changes things like fan curves and other things so that um, it could properly cool off the device at higher TDPs. So I would recommend checking this out. It's still experimental. Um, there, and if you notice any bugs, please report it. But this is a neat feature that I think is worthwhile, and it also makes the device more stable at higher TDPs. Besides that, another neat feature um, that you could try out is there's now some CSS loader plugins, um, themes that work with the Legion Go. So, and so make sure you need, you need to have CSS loader installed. And this is just the deck plugin you could install from the decky store. Uh, but once you have it installed, there's these two themes that are now available that you could download and install. The first one should change the controller picture to the Legion Go. Um, the second one, this one changes the, since you're, if you're using the PS5 controller emulator, you might want to have it show Xbox buttons. So if I actually go into here, you might notice that it shows like, hey, select B is back, but I'm using the PS5 controller emulator. So this should normally show X and circle, but it's not. But the, and that's because I'm using one of these themes here. I'm using this, uh, this one, the Legion Go PS5 one, and I have it replaced so the menu button with the Steam button, which normally this would show the PS5, the PS, the PlayStation button. But basically now it's showing the Steam button. And also there's the, um, the X and circle are replaced with the A and B. Note that this is only in the Steam UI. If you're in game, it's still going to show the PS5 um, buttons. Also, one thing to note, if you apply a theme, you should try to reboot after you apply a theme. Sometimes the theme doesn't kick in immediately if you turn it on. Besides that, one other interesting new tool that's now out. Um, this is for Chimera OS only. So this is only Chimera OS. So I haven't been able to test this yet, um, but this is only on Chimera OS. And it is this tool um, that helps install a lot of these tools that I've been discussing. So here you could see, you could install an uninstall decky loader, um, uninstall or install TDP plugins, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's all here. Um, this is still a work in progress, so there may be bugs. So please report it to the, um, the dev if you notice any issues. But nonetheless, if you're on Chimera OS, you could try this out and maybe it'll make the install process easier for you. Like I said, though, I haven't tested this, so I can't vouch for it. But know that if you try it, there will probably be, you may encounter bugs. But it's a neat, it's a neat tool to have available. Anyways, that's about it for um, some of the latest changes with Linux on Legion Go. Um, I have been trying to keep this page up to date, this Legion Go tricks up to date with um, information about all these new changes that, are, that have been happening. Uh, and I'll keep doing so, but for now, um, that's really it.